Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, April 24th. I'm James Spann. The weather nice, quiet, and dry today. Maybe a few showers tomorrow for the northern third of the state. Let's dive in and talk about it. The wave that brought the severe storms yesterday, now well to the east. Got a big old nasty batch of storms coming into Tampa Bay, Orlando, and Daytona Beach this morning down in central Florida. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 50s and low 60s. Highs will be in the 70s today. A delightful spring day. There's the watch warning map. Got a tornado watch for parts of central Florida with that band of storms down there. Up north, some fog issues for parts of Missouri, Illinois. Otherwise, a quiet morning across the country. But later today, more spring storms firing up west of the state. We have an enhanced risk of severe weather out around the Arklatex region. And then tomorrow, a marginal risk over parts of the Middle Atlantic Coast region and down into central Florida. And that marginal risk does clip the northeastern corner of the state tomorrow. This is a very low-end threat. We'll talk about this in just a moment. And then Sunday, a marginal risk down around West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Otherwise, no severe weather expected across the country. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals north of Alabama. For much of the state, rain amounts around one-half inch. And uh, again, maybe a few showers for North Alabama tomorrow. Another chance of showers Wednesday of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06 c run at 4 o'clock today. Short wave coming down through the southern plains. A surface low is over eastern Oklahoma. But for us, a beautiful day. Sunny with a high in the mid-70s. Now, tomorrow, a 1,001 millibar low is north of Nashville. And there could be a few showers over the Tennessee Valley. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning and 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And the high-res guidance suggesting that kind of later arrival of the heavier showers, which will give the air mass a little time to destabilize. Uh, the instability values uh, ramping up to about 1,200 joules per kilogram up over northeast Alabama. That's the reason we have that enhanced risk up there. Uh, so some of the storms might produce some small hail, gusty winds. If you're in places like Fort Payne, Scottsboro, Rangeville, maybe down to Center and Leesburg, we'll keep an eye on those. But again, for most of Alabama, uh, especially the southern half of the state, tomorrow should be dry. High should be in the 70s. And then Sunday, look at that. A dry day with no severe weather worries for the first time in three weeks. We'll call it partly sunny, maybe some morning clouds. I should be in the low 70s. Monday, a sunny day, mid-70s. Tuesday, partially sunny with upper 70s, rain to the west. That rain could be creeping in here by Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, we'll have a batch of showers and maybe some thunder in here, but that's not really a severe weather look. Thursday, that feature is on by. Sunny with low 70s. And a week from today, Friday, May 1st, troughing on the east coast. And again, a dry, pleasant spring day. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday, May 3rd. A little ridge here, and again, that looks like maybe a few showers to the north, but generally speaking, things pretty quiet. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Numbers coming down. Rain amounts one half to two inches, one and a half to two inches for the next 15 days. And seasonal temperatures through the rest of April, but look at the 80s creeping in here as May begins. And the CPC outlook, May 1st through May 7th, Above average temperatures for the southwest, below average for the northeast, and around here, temperatures should be pretty close to where they should be for that time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.